Now, the question is, do they fit together? Did you make your offset right? Did you not make your offset right? How do we know? And one way to find out, we're going to figure out how to do this. So you've got your assembly. The way to figure out how to do this is you start a new drawing. And so I'm going to go to new. I'm going to click on new. And remember when we installed the CAS template? I want you to use the CAS template, okay, because it's a smaller sheet of paper. It's an A-size template. If I go to my CAS A-size template, I can open this. And once I get it open, I fill in my title block. I'm going to skip that for now. And I'm going to put a base view. I'm going to make my view fit my paper pretty well. So I think uh, 1.5 should fill up my view pretty well. And I'm going to say OK. It's asked me to save my assembly. Do you, do you want to save your assembly? Yep, I'll save it. There it is. And now to check and see if it fits all the rules, I'm going to double click on this view and make it so I can see my hidden lines. All right, now I can see through it. And if I zoom in, oh, look at that. What's that right there? That's the point zero zero two. That's my my tolerance. Awesome. And that's what I need to see. If you don't see that, it's, it's, you have to go put that on there. You've got to have that tolerance. So how do I dimension that to make sure that it's right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to do a section view of this. Remember doing section views? We did one for the uh, our last project. You're going to do a section view from the center point. Go out a little bit, go out a little bit, right click, continue. There's my section view. And next, it's all about documentation. It's all about dimensions. So let's annotate our drawing and let's dimension that tolerance. Let's click there and click there. Notice I zoomed right in so I could see and make sure I got the right spot. Then I'm going to click over here. Make sure you go out three decimal places and say OK, so that it looks like that. Now, since I've done it down there, if we've, done, if we've put this together correctly, then this side should be the same thing. All right, so there's my, my tolerance. Yes, I got it right, OK? There's some other things, other dimensions that we want to check. What's the minimum height of the lid, uh, the lip, do you remember? From here to here is supposed to be 0.25. Look at that. Do me a favor, though. Always go out three decimal points, just to be sure. So there's 0.25. Excellent. Nice work. How about the distance from there for the lid? What's that minimum distance have to be? 0.26, remember? It's supposed to be 0.26. So mine is 0.5. Does that work? Does it fit? Yep, that's perfect. Uh, Mr. Hurd, you're not supposed to have, we're, we're breaking some rules here with uh, dimensioning, but we don't care. This is for documentation. I need you to prove to me that we can manufacture this. So that's all this is for. We're not going to hand this in to manufacture. This is for me. I can drag this over like that. Uh, what other dimensions? I need to know that the thickness of your floor, of your container, is at least 0.25. So I'm going to make sure that that's in there and same for the top. And again, I'm not worried too much about the rules. I'm just making sure that I have all the dimensions that you have to prove that are right. Um, the only other two, let's do this one to make sure it'll fit on the right size piece of stock. And then this one. And how about one last dimension? I need to know that your lip has a thickness of what? What's that supposed to be? Minimum thickness? 0.125. Yep. So, oh, it's 127. Is that okay? Yeah, it just has to be more. All right. So that's going to be our documentation. My goal is that by the end of class today, you have a